So, Hollywood Reporter is reporting that Kevin Feige is developing a new movie for Disney. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Holy shit. What are you doing? Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy is pursuing a new era in Star Wars storytelling, and knowing what a diehard fan Kevin is, it made sense for these two extraordinary producers to work on a Star Wars film together. Mm. Some pretty big-ass news, okay. man. Kevin, Kevin Feige. I was like, whenever you said Kathleen Kennedy, I'm a mouthful, but I'm like, Kathleen Kennedy, okay. Yeah. You know my first reaction to this story? Remember when, it's remember, now. remember when Sony said, no, it's not, I, I knew yeah, about I this. Yeah, I knew about it yeah. too. Yeah. Remember when Sony said, like, yeah, Kevin's a little busy, he doesn't have time for Spider-Man. <laughs> and I was like, all right, I'll go do Star Wars. <laughs> right. I don't have time, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Maybe uh, this is why he doesn't have time. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's really awesome. I know they also reported that, like, uh, there, there's rumor out there that he already has like an actor from the MCU that is interested to come over to Star Wars, and a lot of people are, you know, giving their suggestions and what they want and don't want, you know. Yeah. Um, Robert Downey Jr. I, I mean, they just Vanderbeek. they just killed him off. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. I'll be honest. Mine is a uh, guy who plays Winter Soldier. Bucky. Um, yeah. To play a young Luke. <laughs> young Luke. Oh. He could play young Luke. I, I feel I feel I like mean, he's yeah. going to create. He could do it. I, I guess I have a feeling that she's going to him. To create like a yeah like a bunch of stories and a, yeah. like a new Sebastian. new era. Well, new yeah, but I mean, yeah. we we don't we don't know. We don't know. Yeah, we have no idea. You know, yeah. I know that after episode nine, they're going to be like trying to take the the you know franchise in different directions and stuff like that. Yeah, and I'm welcome to that. You know, it's yeah. fine. I, I want people to be able to go out there and take risks and do new things, and some of it will stick and some of it won't. Yeah. Um, but. I mean, that's what happened with the old it's EU. It's pretty exciting. You know? Yeah. They were like, hey, go out and do some stuff. And they made, yeah. like, new books and everything. And some stuff was like, that's great. Some were like, well, yeah. could have been better. Some See, Karen I mean, Travis. You know, that's legends now. I, I, I think the interesting thing is you go to Kevin Feige to develop stuff. And what has he done with their MCU? He's never directed a movie. You know, he hasn't written. But what he does is he he plans and he orchestrates these great stories throughout movies. So if you do bring him on, and he is in the same capacity doing something like that, I don't think he'll be like that, you know? Though I do think Lucasfilm needs somebody like that. You know, I, I'm i not one of these guys that, you know, have a hard-on for going after Kathleen Kennedy at all, you know? No, I think she's done a great job. I think she's done a, a really great job as a producer and does the things that a producer should be, which is go out and find artists that you believe in and have them give them the reins, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, that didn't always happen, like with Garrett Hethwards and, and uh, the... Gareth, uh, Gareth played ball, though. He did play ball. I, no, a lot of people would even know there was trouble until after the movie came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah... But I mean, like what what I think is happening is like she was good about going out and finding that talent and like saying, "Hey, what do you want to go, do? Go do it." But then you have to answer to your board and all that stuff, which is the worst part of movie making, which is like movie by committee, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm hoping with somebody bringing in someone like Feige, then that's somebody that can be both artist and committee, and he's accountable. Yeah. And accountable. Yeah. So I think it's really interesting. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that you know see it as. You know, well, you know, they're just trying to save face, you know, getting somebody everybody likes because their people are angry with Star Wars right now, you know? Oh, yeah. And I'm just thinking, like, yeah, but as a person that's angry with Star Wars and then they're trying to go and find someone that you would like, isn't that what you would want? Yeah, right. But right. they're saying, like, oh, I'm trying to cover stuff up. Cover stuff <laughs> up. Cover stuff up. What are we talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, but yeah, I, I was I'm, super excited. I'm super excited. Like, are you more excited about that, Ryan Johnson, or. Uh, uh, Game of Thrones D &D. guy, D and D. Hmm. I mean, the D and D guys like uh, they get a lot of shit recently, especially because of the last season of Game of Thrones. Um, but I mean, they're not. They don't have a lot of directing behind them, and I don't think that this is them. They're not s said to be directors. I think that they're just going to be like producing, maybe writing. I'm not sure, but you know, I didn't hate. I, I didn't absolutely hate a lot of the stuff that they did, th which is actually their stuff versus adapting George R. R. Martin stuff. Mm -hmm. But it didn't really match to me the stuff that Martin was doing. So like if they're the going out and, and accepting, the their, and if they're go yeah, but if they're going out and accepting their own, you know, let's say they're doing Nice Little Republic, yeah, and I'm kind of excited because they have a good base of like, but hey, here's the basic stuff. Adapt it. I think that's that what I was going to say. Imagine give them give them some stuff that already has some story that yeah. they can take and adapt because you don't have to take. You know the the old Republic stories one for one. Yeah, just go and be like, well, I like this stuff about Revan. I like this stuff about this. Yep, and just bring make Keanu, it work into bring your story. Keanu Reeves and do it. Yeah, just oh, work yes. it into your story however you want. James you know? Vanderbeek. Vander James Vanderbeek. Be, be Darth Revan. To be who? Revan. James Vanderbeek. Is, yes. that, is that your Revan? He could be Carthonassi. I'll give you that. <laughs> Ooh. As long as he's something. Yeah. Dolph. 
Lundgren. Oh yeah, and Gareth. That Kandris. works. Yeah, I'd bring Gareth. Candrus Horta. Yeah, could that yeah, work? That's not too bad. Could that work? Yeah. John Cena. Maybe. <laughs> More wrestlers. Yeah. Rick will like it. Okay, who plays Darth Malak? Mm. Rami Malak. No, what? sorry. Okay, I know. <laughs> hmm? What's his name? Gary Oldman. No, <laughs> he's got to be. The I mean, he doesn't have to be seven the, feet tall, but he's got to have that, you know. Come on. I can find him. The guy from the Count of Monte Cristo, who, the other ship guy who betrays people, that jaw. Guy Pierce? No, not Wait, Guy what, Pierce. Hold on, I gotta find him. The other guy who betrays people. Uh, um, Zidata. Uh, fucking Lincoln. What was his name? Lincoln. Yeah. Oh, Daniel Day Lewis. Daniel Day Lewis. Lewis. Yeah. Dude, that'd be some shit. Make him. You know what would be the problem though? He Star would Wars. become a Sith Lord and kill <laughs> us. He would. He would, have, he would kill his apprentice. Yeah. <laughs> Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Wouldn't he be good though? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, he'd be good for anything and everything, right? Yeah. You could cast My dumbass almost he said, you gotta get Liam Neeson in it for something. <laughs> well, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, man, that'd be good. Um, yeah, that could, that could be fun. The D and, I'm not, so I'm, uh, when it comes to exciting, I think I might be most excited about The Mandalorian. Um, no, I'm most excited about Obi-Wan. Then The Mandalorian. Then Episode Nine. Then Kevin Feige. And I'm, above all else, is The Return of the Clone Wars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's <laughs> gonna be real good. Yeah, and that's. He's is it dead. only going to be one season? He's one dead. season. Okay. What? Who are you talking he's about? Dead. Some guy. What guy? Some guy. He's in the guy with a chin. Man, he's you got pizza sauce in your beard. You got to get fucking shit. This guy. <laughs> he, he, now it's all over your shirt. He's the guy who uh, um, tattled on them. Yeah, sure. For uh, you know how one of their ship guys got sick and they went on the island. Like he tried to tattle on them and saying, "Oh, what they did was a bad thing." And okay. he, he wanted the promotion. And okay. instead, Edmond Dantes got the promotion. He's like, you presume to demote me. Oh, okay. I know you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. That guy. The yeah. shit's been so, It's been too long. Yeah. Dude, that's you shave his head. It rings a bell. Yep. You shave. Yeah. Cat of Monte Cristo is such a good fucking movie. Good movie. And the book is so much better. Great book. The book is so much better, but that's how great the movie is. It's still so if fucking If you like, good. well, if you like Jesus, then you'll like it because it's the same guy. <laughs> if you like Jesus. But if you like uh, <laughs> Harry Potter, like Richard Harris, the first Dumbledore, mm-hmm. he plays the priest in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is about spit. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. I'd give uh And Guy Pierce is like I love Guy Pierce, dude. I'd give Danny Glover Jolie, right? Is that his name? Oh. Right? I think that Jolie. works right. Huh. Yeah. I think that like Jolie he, Bindo or something some, like right? that. Right. And then there was another one named like Ju- Juhani. Ju- Juhani. Juhani. She was a Cathar. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm remembering you this. Give shit. that to Halle Berry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is the mid- name that popped into my head too. <laughs> Mission, and then there's another Wookiee. Yeah. Uh Mission T three. Give mission. Um, Do who? Okay, who plays HK forty seven? See, my, I I thought of Alan, but he's already got a droid, so I need yeah. I need someone else. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried. What? <laughs> Hello, me back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't, but um, like Kevin Spacey would have been interesting. Uh, yeah, that would have been good. Yeah, I'm still trying to rack my brain for Darth Malak because I actually really like Malak. Mm-hmm. But anyway. Oh, Chris Pratt. Pratt. Chris Pratt. Oh, we're leaving off uh, Bastila Sean. Who plays Bastila? Bastila? Yeah. Arguably the most important character in the, in the game. Fucking. <laughs> What's her name? Gal Gadot. Who was that picture you had of that girl? Not her. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gal Gadot? She could probably pull it off, actually. I think yeah, she, could she pull probably it off. could. I was going to say, uh, fuck, what's her name from? The Hunger Games franchise, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. I don't Lawrence. really love Jennifer I've seen her some great stuff, man. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, like Silver Lines Playbook. Have you seen that? Yeah. I love I haven't, it. I haven't seen it. anything other than the first 10 minutes of the Hunger Games. Yeah. Yeah. Which I shut off. They're all right. Okay. <laughs> the books are better. <laughs> Who would be... I'm, I'm, I'm really Royale trying to best. think of who's the best HK. I'm trying to think of who would be a good one. Just get Alan Tudyk again. I know this sounds Let's, weird, but like... Someone in chat said Jack Black. I was gonna say like <laughs> David David Tennant. <laughs> maybe. Can you imagine his voice, you know, like that the way he. I mean, he had to do it maybe in the accent, or I'm not sure, but like it's gotta be somebody that has a lot of fun while murdering people. You know, this is Darth Revan's droid. You know, his hunter killer droid. But he's like, you know, hello, meat bags. Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. <laughs> Mark Hamill would be pretty. <laughs> <good>. Hello. <laughs> bags. Mark Hamill would be fine. <laughs> Brennan Fraser is HK. Yeah. <laughs> Benedict what the Cumberbatch. Fuck? Oh shit! Travis Fimmel to play 
Uh, Malik. Travis Fimmel. Ooh. Who played Ragnar? Yeah. That might yeah, be Yeah, cool. that would be cool. Dude, he's shorter, but he could do it. What about Sebastian Stan? I don't no, know he's got to be. He's got to be, be somebody else. <laughs> yeah, he's busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got him set aside for yeah. another role. Yeah. And, and a chick who plays Lagatha, like I want her to do something. Okay. She got to do something. <laughs> she's got to do something. Oh, okay. Whatever I do, she's in it. <laughs> I always said that. Her and James Vanderbeek. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's with you in the Vanderbeeks? <laughs> I don't know. Oh man. Oh, oh Jason Isaacs. I want him to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, he, he he played a voice, but. Ooh. What about into the uh, the black sales actors? Ooh. Dude, get oh, a dude, man. Get Cal- Malik Steven. Might be good as Malik. Toby, Toby Stevens. Yeah, he has that. I can't fire. imagine Malik going on these long monologues though. What? Have you played that game? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you have giant dialogue trees. We just talk to Malik. There's a Forever. whole scene where you don't even fight him. He just talks and he leaves. Yeah. He Toby Stevens great, would be great. He has great lines. I mean, you know, they, and they would adapt it too. They wouldn't be like you know having. It wouldn't be word for word. But he could he could pull it off though. The guy who plays Floki, he's got to do something too. Yeah. The Scars Garden? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, you can't imagine. say the Scars Guard. They are they are legion. The Scars <laughs> God. Yeah. I don't know. I do like Toby Stevens and Malik could be cool. That could be cool. What about uh? Oh, shoot. I can't think of the guy. Tom Bane. Tom Bane. Tom I can't think of Tom Bane's Tom real name. Oh. Uh, Zach McGowan. Yeah, yeah Zach, Zach McGowan. McGowan. We need him in Star Wars somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Charles Dance as Malik. He's so old everything. though. Charles Dance as oh, Malik. Man. Charles Dance could play. Anything. Charles Dance should be Revan. <laughs> I want so Charles Dance to be Dooku somehow. Dooku <laughs> to share that role with another great actor. I've been looking forward to this. He could play. I know. He, yeah. I mean, he could, but you can't beat Chris. No, Rudy. you can't. And, and because it's, he passed and, away, and you don't. Yeah, you yeah. don't recast that. I know, yeah. but still. And, and, and what they would do anyways, they would just fucking digitally recreate him. Yeah, so I, I'd rather have that. Yeah. <laughs> and you could sing metal. Anthony Hopkins. Not Ooh, that damn. Michael suggests Anthony Starr, who plays Homelander. Uh, he's. Oh, I, he he could play a hero or a villain. Yeah, you got. He yeah, should play. Stuff. He might be a good Carthonassi, actually. Michael Fassbender. Ooh. Yeah. He can do something. 